Roland Garros is one of the most prestigious tennis tournaments in the world. It is held annually in Paris and is part of the Grand Slam series. Rafael Nadal is a legendary French player who has won the Roland Garros title a record 11 times. Alcaraz is one of the most promising players of this generation. He recently won the junior Roland Garros title, making him the youngest ever to do so. His playing style is aggressive, with powerful ground strokes and great volleying. Tsitsipas is a young star in the tennis world. He has won several ATP titles, including the Madrid Open and two Grand Slam finals, at the 2018 US Open and 2019 Australian Open. He also reached the semi-finals of Roland Garros in 2020. Roland Garros has some unique courts. The nine main courts, Philippe Chatrier, Suzanne Langelin, Simone Mathieu, Court 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 and 8, all have red clay surfaces. The courts are surrounded by a large area of grandstands that only is provide Alcaraz spectators with his excellent game on views the court, of the action, but he is also working on his personality off the court. He recently took part in a campaign to raise money for various causes related to tennis, such as improving the lives of young athletes. As Tsitsipas has developed his tennis skills, he has also become a great ambassador for the sport. He launched his own clothing line to help spread the word of tennis amongst the younger generations. He also has sponsored well-known equipment brands. Roland Garros is full of tradition and history, with the tournament having been held since 1925. People from across the globe come to witness some of the biggest names in tennis compete for the championship title. Alcaraz has made a name for himself since winning the junior Roland Garros title. He has become a regular on the ATP Tour and is climbing the rankings with impressive performances. The Greeks have an ambassador of their own in Tsitsipas. He is the highest ranked Greek player in history and is constantly inspiring the younger generation to take up the sport. One of the most famous courts at Roland Garros is Philippe Chatrier Court. It is the site of the tournament's final and is the iconic location for the presentation ceremony. A sculpture of Henry Cochet, who won the first singles title at the tournament, stands proudly at center court. Alcaraz is still developing his skills but he has the potential to become one of the most successful players of the decade. He has the focus and determination to make it to the top and could soon challenge the best players in the world. Tsitsipas record in majors is also impressive. He has made several Grand Slam finals and has been considered one of the main challengers for a major title. During the Roland Garros tournament, there is a great atmosphere in the training facilities. Players get the chance to learn from the best coaches and practice on some of the best courts in the world. Alcaraz is setting high standards for himself in terms of reaching the top rankings in tennis. He is working hard to bring up his game to the level of the world's elite and is showing impressive progress. As he approaches his peak years, Tsitsipas is expected to be challenging for honors at the highest level. Now an established star, he will be looking to win major titles to enhance his already impressive career. Another great court at Roland Garros is Suzanne Langelin Court. Langelin was the first female player to win the singles title at the tournament and the court is named in her honor. Alcaraz is now playing in challenger and ATP level events, showing that he has the ability to perform at a professional level. 
he will need to continue to improve and reach even higher rankings if he intends to compete at the top of the men's game. Tsitsipas has also had success outside the Grand Slams, winning several titles on the ATP Tour. Moreover, he has reached top 10 rankings in the singles and doubles categories, making him one of the most talented players in the world. The training facilities around Roland Garros are also a great area to visit. Players can have a hit with a partner or train alone hitting against the wall, with the best coaches on site to help with technique and skill. Alcaraz has shown potential to become a star and he will likely take steps to improve his position in the rankings. He has the drive and enthusiasm to reach the top and it will be interesting to see where this young star ends up. The tennis world is bracing itself whenever Tsitsipas takes to the court. He is a great competitor and will always raise his game for the big occasions. Another beautiful court at Roland Garros is Simone Matthew Court. It is the third largest court in terms of seating capacity and regularly plays host to some of the major's biggest games. Alcaraz is rising up the rankings and his performances have been attracting attention. He works hard to improve his game and is a likable character on and off the court. Tsitsipas has been labeled as one of the best players of his generation and his flashy playing style has earned him a great following. His style of play is beloved by tennis fans everywhere. Every year, the centerpiece of the Roland Garros tournament is the men's singles final, which takes place on Philippe Chatry Accord. This is the ultimate stage for the world's best players to claim the championship title the most prestigious in the tennis world.